Wow, what a huge tree! Yes, and think about all the water that has to be lifted from its roots to the leaves. Why? What do you mean? Through transpiration, the evaporation of water from the leaves, trees may lose hundreds of litres of water a day. The plant needs to extract that amount from the soil or it will suffer dehydration. Cool, and then? Is the water transported in the trunk? Yes, in the wood. There are zillions of microscopic conduits. Together they form a complex network which is amazingly efficient and reliable in supplying the entire plant with water. And how is the water pumped up then? That's what's so remarkable. Plants don't have pumps. Instead they use tension generated by transpiration. That's ingenious. So plants move the water to the canopy without needing to spend any energy themselves. On the other hand, this transport system limits the maximum height of trees. As soon as the tension gets too high, the water column breaks and so-called embolisms occur. Ah, that's the reason why even redwood trees, like this one, don't grow taller than about 120 meters.